What's up, everyone? What's better? Afro Joe Tin Legacy. I'm Moodle Wookie. There we go. Good luck today. Good luck. I'm going to say this before I get to get started. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. Uh, my fan page, my group page. Don't forget to check out my uh, OnlyFans. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell button for notifications. You can check all that out in the description box below. Uh, I'm redoing this video because last video I did of uh, James Charles had no sound to it. So I thought I'd just do it again to so people can hear me what I have to say. And look, I'm going to say this. I've been doing this for 12 years. And I predicted this way ago, like some years ago, about people supporting the wrong people. Like, pretty much, I sat there and talked about how some YouTubers are getting all this love. And if they did this or that, they would still get support and love and money. Like, I question this. And the reason why I question this is because he's getting this support. The stuff he did is so wrong. Like, I question it. Like, I really look at it like, oh, my God, really? So, and that's why I see it. Like, uh, uh, now he's actually been talking to underage kids. Like, really? On how he's been hitting on between, what, 14 to 16 years old? And sending new pictures of himself to new, uh, to kids. So, when he was on the Logan Paul, sh po uh, Logan Paul podcast show, he said, oh, I want to be younger than me. And then when he did his apology video, oh, I want to date somebody older. Which is it, man? Somebody older than you or younger than you? Because you tell people two different things. And people support you on it. Oh, he likes little boys. Oh, we gonna buy his merch. And that's one thing I question is, why are you supporting this man if he's hitting on children, like your kids? He set up on Tinder dressed as a female. Look, I'm gonna say this. I have no issues with people who have different sexuality, but when it comes down to you dressing as a female, sitting up on Tinder, hitting on straight men. Then you doing dirty. That's dirty. Like, seems like you trying to force them to be gay. Like, why? I just, I just want, I'm just tired of being love. Fine, whatever. Go out there and be yourself. Go out there and find you somebody your age. But you ain't got to sit up on no Tinder dress as a female trying to get you a straight man. Like, come on, man. You can't turn one person to something they don't want to be. You use your fame trying to turn a, a waiter into a gay man. Like, really? Why are you doing that? You know how bad that looks on a community? Like, you, 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 your sexuality should not be your weapon. Your sexuality should not be your weapon. And you make it your weapon. And I'm sitting there noticing... He's sending new pics to kids. And ain't nobody called the police on him yet. So you telling me this man, this 21-year-old man can send new pics to underage kids and not be arrested for it? How does that work? How does that work? How does, how does this man sit here, send new pictures of himself, the kids and ain't been arrested. Shit, I think R. Kelly should have got with you and got some advice. Because, damn, that's a damn shame that R. Kelly got time in prison for peeing on little girls, but this man is sending new pictures of himself to little boys. <clears throat> and I think there's something else like. If it would have been, look, I say that if it would have been an average Joe person that did something like that, that actually did what James Charles did, this would have happened. We got shot the fuck up. 
Nowadays, people get shot and killed over the smallest thing. I'm surprised I ain't no. I'm I'm gonna say this: Do not go out there and do this. Do not go. Out, I'm telling y'all, do not go out there and try to hurt damn Charles. I'm not saying cause him physical harm, but I'm just saying if it would have been, any, I'm surprised ain't nobody did nothing. To me, he should be arrested. He broke the law. He's sending nude pictures of himself to underage kids, and he hasn't went to jail. Why? Why hell has this man went to jail for sending new pics to kids? And it's the law. Sexting a child is against the law, but he gets to sit up there and walk free and make this fake-ass apology twice. He made two, this is his second apology he's talking about. I'm sorry, it won't happen again. The first, you said that the first time. The first time you said the same thing. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do it. Forgive me. Love me. Give me your money. This time, he's doing it again. Forgive me. I'm sorry. Give me your money. And y'all give you, and you give him, give him your money. And I'm questioning, where is your mentality? Why do y'all support this? Why do y'all support this? Y'all shouldn't support somebody that likes to do that. Y'all, y'all think R. Kelly is guilty. He's in lockup. He did, he's sending new pictures of himself to kids, hitting on kids. He gets to walk free. How does that work? It's because he gay. I, I think it's bullshit. Y'all get y'all fear him because he's sex I think it's fucked up that y'all are afraid to have him arrested because he's gay. What does that got to do with any damn thing in this world? So you telling me it's okay for you telling me that it's okay for a gay man to have sex with kids? Like, that's messed up. You're making a whole group of people something that they're not. Like, black folks, pay attention. You remember how they used to think black people was this and that? Then we proved them wrong by owning businesses and become presidents and attorneys and doctors and judges. It's the same thing like that. It's like, it shouldn't be where James Charles is the face of the gay community, the LGBTQ. It shouldn't be that, where he's the face of that and everybody's passing judgment on the LGBTQ because of James Charles fuck-ups. Because that's the first thing they're going to do. Damn, ain't no gay folks or pedophiles. They're going to say, well, we're not. Well, we don't know because y'all got James Charles trying to have sex with kids. He's he trying to have sex with kids. But that's not everybody in the LGBTQ. We don't know. We don't know. Because nobody does nothing. Nobody steps in to prosecute the people that need to be prosecuted. So, I'm for real. Because nobody won't say nothing. Nobody won't do nothing. So, pretty much, he's getting away. For sending new pictures of himself to kids. Now, how far does he don't have to go before he actually has sex with a minor? How far would he go because before he rapes a minor? I'm not saying because he's gay. I'm just saying because nobody says nothing. Nobody does nothing. And it makes me question. Just because he is gay doesn't mean he gets to get out of jail free card. Just because he puts on makeup shouldn't get him out, get out of a jail free card. It's fucked up. He is not the face of the LGBTQ. He does not speak for them. But to sit there and allow him to send new pictures of himself to underage kids is totally bullshit. Y'all allow that to happen because y'all fear that y'all discriminating discriminating against him because he's gay. Is that what it is? Y'all scared of him because he's gay? Because it seems like that's all it is. And I know there's going to be some people in the comment section. You're, you're discriminating because he... I'm asking, I'm saying that to you. I'm questioning, why are y'all sitting up there scared of saying anything because he's gay? Or have him arrested? Because what you're doing is allowing him 
to do whatever the fuck he wants in this world. If you don't, if he wants to fuck your nine year old, you will let him because he's gay. It shouldn't be like that because this is bullshit. Because everybody wants to love this man and support this man, even if he's in the wrong. Are you telling me that that's how it works? If that's how it works, you know, if that's how it works, then R. Kelly should be allowed to have sex with kids. Y'all can sit there and say, no, nah, that's fucked up. That ain't right. Y'all support James Charles. Y'all let him do it. Y'all let him hit on little boys and y'all don't say a word or have him arrested or anything because y'all fear just because he's gay, that's discrimination. Hell, that's discriminating against R. Kelly because he's black. That's how it is. Fair is fair, motherfucker. You can't really sit there and say, well, uh, he's gay. He, he can get away with that because he's gay. I don't give a damn. He's guilty of sending new pitch to kids and trying to hit on kids. You sit there and say, well, I didn't know how old they were. I think two of them actually had the real age on there, 15 and 16, and you still trying to hit on them? You still send them new pictures? And what kind of bullshit you telling me? You, oh, I didn't know. Bullshit. You on the internet. People going to lie. People going to fucking lie no matter what you do. They're going to lie to you about their age, their sex, the sexuality, and everything else under the sun. No matter what you do, there's going to be people sitting up on any social media platform lying about something to cover up, to hide their shame. But for you to be a 21-year-old YouTuber, you're like, this is new to you. I've been doing this for 12 years, man. I've spoke on stuff like this. I've actually talked about stuff like this. You ain't nobody new. Let me let it let it be me or one of y'all out there in the world. This is what happened. Ruben we got fucked up. But since so many people are supporting him because he's gay, nobody won't say that y'all fear him. Because y'all don't want to get sued for discrimination. Hell, if I was in R. Kelly's shoes and saw this shit, first thing I would do is grab my damn attorney and tell him to find an appeal because if James Charles can walk, uh, can send new pictures of himself to little kids, then he should be walking around pissing on little girls. Fair is motherfucking fair, goddamn it. I don't give a good goddamn. And I say this, who will win? I'm going to say this. It just the simple fact is, I predicted this shit years ago. Predicted this years ago. Talking about YouTubers will be allowed to do anything they want. They can rape kids, they can murder somebody, and they will still get a paycheck. They'll still get that love, and they'll still get that support. No matter what the fuck they do. Look at James Charles, he still got a paycheck. He still got a fucking paycheck. He ain't lost no fucking sponsor. Y'all can sit there in that comment section. Yes, he did lose his sponsor. No, the fuck he didn't. If he's still uploading the videos making a goddamn paycheck, then that means he's still getting fucking paid. He still got motherfuckers making his merch. You got people still wearing his motherfucking merch. So you can't tell me no motherfucking difference. It's a damn shame that he makes the community look bad because of this. Y'all need to grow the fuck up. Tell me what you think down in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that little notification bell. Don't forget to check me on Twitter, my fan page, my group page, my only fan page, the best deals on tattooing. Peace.